all right guys good morning and welcome back all right so um this video is trying to show us how to cut or draft our male shorts now i have shown us how to cut um, the female aspect which i laid more emphasis on the high waist um, concept and how to get your crouch but for the male section we are going to do a regular shorts and then like i said this method this method as well can still be used to sew for a female but then it's more professional to use the other method i showed us for the um, female on shorts right so you always mark out your baselines in this form mark them out in this form mark out your baselines so you also add your two inches here which serves you for the fold of your shorts then you connect your lines as shown connect your lines in this form as shown now the short length we have is a short length of 21 22 i'm going to make use of um, 22 inches short length now you mark your waistline here also add mark between two inches again inwards mark it this way and then connect the lines as well from here to this point now once once you are done connecting this to this point now the next you will do is to get your crouch now the rule states that the actual hip measurement i have is 46 inches for my customer now for a normal shot you're not allowed to use the real hip measurement to cut for a man shot but then you are going to use the real hip measurement to get the crouch meaning if your hip is 40 for example for a regular trouser for a customer you're not allowed to use 40 to cut the shirt it will be too tight for him you know he will be having another looks so you just have to increase the person's hip measurement for now the hip measurement you are going to have will be um, a hip measurement um, extra three to four inches extra for the ease allowance of your customer so for this customer now his hips is 46 now i will use the 46 inches hip to get the crouch do you understand so i will mark at 11.5 that dividing 46 by 4 you have 11.5 then extend the line in that form 11.5 this way right after you have done this this way now the next you will do is to mark the hip measurement now on this hip width measurement it's now where you add the ease allowance of extra three to four inches so I will, I will mark four inches for him then 46 is what i have plus four is 50 right so you now divide 50 by um four you have 12.5 now the reason for you to do this is to make sure that the shot is free enough to enable him wear it out and have room or space for or ease for putting his phones phone and wallets or whatsoever on the pocket right because if you happen to use the actual 46 inches hips to mark the shot it will enter him but be too tight on him and he will not be comfortable wearing the shot out so add extra three inches to four inches for your customer depending on how free you want it to be now you mark extra four to that 46 that's 50 divided by four you have it to be 12.5 then you mark 12.5 this way and then add extra two inches right and extra two inches now after which on the ankle point the ankle point you come in by one and a half inches inside sometimes you can mark two inches inwards but then 1.5 is the minimum you can use so you mark 1.5 inches this way now the knee circumference now you and i know that in measuring the knee you have to as well consider how free it will be now if your customers real knee measurement circumference is 18 add the shot two inches or three inches to it to make it a bit free on the knee because sometimes these shorts can as well as well be worn as a corporate or as a regular outfit it, it must not be tight at all right even if it's a casual it should be free but should be um covering whatever um inconveniences the person might be having so now the knee circumference i have is 18 right that's by two is uh, nine then i will mark at extra two inches or three inches for my customer so i have it to be at 21 
21. So dividing 21 by 2, you have 11, right? So you mark at 11 inches for my customer here, this way. And then connect the two um, hip allowance to your uh, ankle measurement this way. So you have it connected in this form and then tip it off this way. Then connect the 1.5 inches you marked here to the hip point in this form. Then also push it out this way. Then you come to the waist. Now the waist measurement we have. All right, so I, I was trying to explain to us that um, you now go over to the waist point. Now the waist of my customer we have is um, that is seven inches. Now divide by four as well. You have it to be 9.25 this way. So you mark 9.25 from here. 9.25 from here. Then add extra one inch to it. Add extra one inch to it. Then connect the one inch allowance to the real hip measurement in this form. It comes in this form. Now, this method is basically for men or for male. Now, but you can still make use of it to sew a female shirt. It still works. But the first method I showed you in the previous videos is solely for female, right? So you come up here by two inches as well, and then mark 0 0.5 in a diagonal form this way, and then use your freehand sketch, make a curvy connection from here to this point, then slope the trouser waist by half an inch, half an inch, that's 0 0.5, then connect from here to this point, and then Place your pocket measurement 7 inches or 7.5. I usually have 7.5 inches or 8 inches for my pockets for shorts to make it a bit free as well. Then you mark here 2.5 inches inwards. So this is basically the nature of the uh, male um, short drafting. So I will cut this now and then show us as well how to cut the back. Now don't forget that you can still make use of this in your female shorts, but then I would prefer um, the first method in making a perfect female shirt. So for some of us that are having issues on how to draft your shirts, I believe this video must have explained to us all the procedures we need and the technique to achieve a perfect fit, fitting shirt, right? So this is how it is on the side. Then you also cut from here as well. You also cut from here as well. Um, it's, it's a perfect um, cutting, right? So this can, this, as you can see, this is the um, finishing or the image rather we have. So we are now going to use this now to cut the back panel. So in cutting the back panel, we also bring out the fabric as well in this form, right? So you bring it out as well in this form and then the usual way we turn it over to the other side in this form and then arrange it properly this way. I'm trying to make sure I don't waste the fabric much. So give room or gap for two inches raising for the back waist point. You must raise the back if you are not making a high waist shot. You must raise the back if you're not making a high waist shot then extend your line in this form then after which you mark two inches from here you mark two inches from here you mark two inches from here right and then you connect your lines in this form and then Connect it in this form and then connect it as well in this form. And then after which you raise the back panel by two inches. The back must be raised by two inches since it's not a high waist shot. Then the back waist, you mark 1.5 inches this way and you mark two inches this way, right? And then connect from here to the two inches here and then to the 1.5. And then from the two inches point you raised, you take it down to the end of the short panel in this form. So this is your basic um, um, male drafting. Now, if you happen to be making use of this method in your um, female concept, 
which I think might still be another video I will make it to as, as well as plan some little adjustments you might need to make on this to suit your female clients properly but then I think let's use this as well to draft so you cut out from here as well don't forget don't um, um, forget that there are many ways you can do this but then I'm trying to show you one of the simplest ways you can as well achieve this and my methods I'm trying to show you is not trying to discredit any other method out there I'm just trying to show you how I do mine or how you can do yours as well so if you find my interesting you stick to it if you have any better method you already know there's no problem you can stick to your own method then after the welcome after this you cut from here this way you cut from here as well this way and then you connect this line from this point you also cut out this edge now all this i'm showing you you must make sure you um go take your time go through it and then you understand how these things can be can can um be and then you make sure you cut it out in this form and this is how the front and back panel for our melt shot looks like then you notch the pocket as well you notch the pocket at this point you also notch the pocket here as well so this is the front and back panel of the shots so let's now go over to cut the components now in cutting the components as well you need to cut out the shape here which will give you the the flap or uh, the plaquettes for the flap for the zip then cut it this way now the measurement of this can be super two and a half inches to three inches um, width now the length should not be more than the crouch depth so what i have here is three inches exact and then the length i have here is 10.5 which is perfect for me then mark the front and the back as well then after this the next you will cut out is the pocket facing right or if you can let's see if we can use the same material to do our pocketing then you cut out in you mark it in this form for the pocket facing you have then you um, cut out the lines in this form and then slit this point this way right and then all you need to do now is you measure 6.5 inches this way 6.5 unfold this way and then the length remains 13 inches or 14 right so i have it to be 12.75 which is okay by me then you cut out this way you must make sure you take the note of this measurement then you open it up in this form face um place the face together the right sides facing the right sides of the shirts of the pocket rather making it facing it this way right then mark one edge seven inches deep and then 1.5 or one and a half or two inches maximum then take it out from here this way make sure that you do it only on one side right then you can still decide to curve the um, down i'm trying to trim up the excesses coming up in this form so you can still decide to have a curvy um cutting at the down part of the pocket it's optional though you can still leave it to be in a square form so having done that you have cut out the pocket in for your shot now that means you don't need pocket facing anymore right but if you are not making use of pocketing, the same material for the pocketing, you are meant to cut out the pocket facing, and the measurements of the facing will be four inches width by the length above your pocket notching. So I will cut. Let me just cut this and show you the measurements you might need to have. So for your pocket facing, for your um, regular um, um, shots, so all you need to have is a measurement of this is four inches exact by the length of 10.5 is okay for me so this could have been our pocket facing if we are going to use lining or any other color to do the pocketing 
but since we are using the same material there will be no need to put this anymore right so after that the next thing you will cut out now is your bed loop or bed holder because we are going to use bed loop on this shot so you just have to measure out there are six loops on a trouser on a shot yes still are still on trouser then six times four is 24 so the length must be 24 and then the width must be 1.5 so what i will do now is i will just take one edge put this way to make it easier for me to cut then take my ruler mark out a baseline here mark out the baseline here and then mark 1.5 inches width 1.5 inches width 1.5 inches width and then connect this line this way then cut please make sure you make use of your ruler in cutting out all these things and your chalk right so don't forget to click on the subscribe button if you're watching this from my youtube channel so that i also turn on your bell to make sure you get notified when i post new videos now the next we're gonna cut now is our band so you just have to bring out the fabric from this point and then you measure out the band measurement you measure out the band measurement from here then the band measurement we want to have is a band width of 4.5 it must be 4.5 the least you can have is 4 4.5 inches this way and then connect the lines straight up as shown connect the lines straight up as shown and then cut out the band in this form now cross check if this band will be enough for your waist circumference so the band measurement i have um the measurement for the waist i have is length of um, 36 so i have um 42 here so this is 36 is 9 it won't be enough for my band i will cut another one i will place this way again and cut another one in this form so I will cut another one in this form so after this you must make sure you have a band that will be enough so you can just cut out some excesses here so this is my band i have cut out so now the next you will cut out now is your patch pocket for your trouser right so you make sure you cross check if this will be enough for your patch pocket now i have it to be 6.7 which is okay for me and then I will put half inch or quarter inch on both ends so I, I will at the end of the day have 5.5 .5 inches finishing mm -hmm. but then the length i'm cutting now will be eight so that will, after folding i will have um 5.5 .5 by um five or thereabouts just a patch pocket for the side for the back and then if you now decide to put cover it's, it's solely your decisions just to make a shot have more value so this will be our patch pocket for our shot so now after you must have watched these videos on the cutting processes and then this is for the female and this is for the male right so i will gum them i will show us as well how they are being gummed how they are being prepared now the next videos will be seen will be on the sewing of these individual um measurements Thank you for watching and don't forget to click on the subscribe button on my channel. Thanks for watching.